It's underway. It's been underway for about two and a half minutes. Let's join it at that point with commentary now by Kent Wharton. Their first visit to this country. Peter Sackhouse is going to be tougher than that in this special tag tournament. Nice box, I'll stop him. Rocky Duran tags from the other side, but perfectly legally, and comes in against Ross Hart. Already in this first box, in this first semi final, the Civic Hall Gaither crowd really starting to warm up to us. I think this is one of the first times, if not the first time, that we've ever had a whole afternoon world of sport uh, wrestling session with nothing but tag wrestling. Good posting by Moran. In comes Owen. A young boy, 18 years old, against Rocky Moran for the first time. Nice throw on the arm there by Owen. These Ross boys are only here for a few weeks. In fact, they go back very shortly to Canada. been to Germany before they came here. And they've only had about four bouts in Europe, and this is only their second one on television. The first tag of second bout. And from outside, Finley, without being tagged, comes into the ring, gets his first public warning. Five minutes gone. 15 to go, and Finley at first public one. But Northern Ireland. Tag, legitimate tag this time, but he goes in off the ropes before Owen Ross gets up. Body check. Back elbow thrown in there. Finley going in hard with that crotch hold and slam. Throws him rather than slams him. chance of Owen Ross standing up against this man. Many, several weights above him. And fingers mighty near the eyes then. And again that back elbow as he comes off the ropes. And this poor 18 year old lad getting no chance against Finley at all. And Finley's had enough for the moment, in comes Moran versus Owen Ross, Owen Hart. Famous indeed wrestling family in Canada from Calgary, Alberta. And Ross, the Hart family, led by, of course, the father. It was eight sons, Stu Hart is the man who is the most famous of all, of course, the father who's trained them to become wrestlers. Amateurs at first. All eight sons have turned into wrestling business. There are two of them here this afternoon in a tag. have seen a couple of uh, their brothers over here before. We've seen Bruce and Bret Hart over here, Cowboy Smith Hart. But 
This is only the second time we've had a chance to see the two young ones, Ross and Owen. Owen is doing all right against Rocky Moran of Northern Ireland at the moment. Still no score, but one public warning against Finlay. Victory rolled down and over the top for Doctor. And holding the legs, that could be trouble for him. And it is the first one, Moran over Owen Hart. In just seven minutes, 45 seconds of the first session. In seven minutes, 45 seconds, the first ball goes to the Northern Ireland team. Rocky Moran and Finlay. Well, Finlay and Moran from Belfast or thereabouts quite easily getting the first ball over the 18-year-old Owen Hart. Now the question is, can the Hart brothers come back in this first semi-final. Seconds away from the second session. Owen must continue against Moran, of course. <laughs> Owen taking quite a time to come in. He's, he's, he steps back a lot and deliberates a little too much. I wish he could get to his corner and get a chance for Ross to come in. Moran follows up with a body check on the ropes, but... Uh, and he nicely it down by Hart. Oh yes, this is the Hart special, takes his man back and beats Vicky Manawares. And shoulder press, beautifully done. And everybody loves that idea. Great idea. The crowd love it in just nine minutes, ten seconds. The second session. Owen Hart gets the equalizer over Moran. In nine minutes, ten seconds, equalizing for the Canadians, Ross and Owen Hart. Well, you hear some great uh, crowd reaction from them. They love the idea of the Canadian boys coming back against the Northern Ireland boys. Obviously, no the experience here on the right-hand corner. But they're back in the game now. One fall in. It's away for the third and final session. So here we go for the final session. We're just about half way through, I think. About ten minutes, a little less to go. And it's got to be Moran against Owen Hart again. They've got to restart. Ten minutes. And ten minutes. There's the call for ten minutes. Halfway through the bar. And... Can Owen do the same trick? And a public warning for Moran for that. And Rocky Moran gets his first public warning. So he quickly gets out of the ring, tags Finley, and in comes Ross Hart for the first time against Finley in this session. Side of the forearm, okay. Nice drop kick from the ground position. <laughs> oh, he missed the drop kick though. Could he miss that follow up? Ross Hart in trouble with the Boston crowd now. If he gets that submission, Fenley has got him. And they've uh, beaten Canada. Single leg Boston now. Hart, Hart's still in trouble, but he's grabbing for a tag, and he gets the tag. In comes Owen, fast against Finley. Still Owen Hart. Takes an awful lot of time deliberating before he comes forward. Finley won't give him that chance, and that could be a punch. Posting after posting, this boy taking. This time he's held it, and he tried the same move again. Can he get Finley? But no, Finley waiting for him, unfortunately. And it didn't work this time. It caught Moran by surprise, Finley's partner. But Finley knew what to expect this time. And oh, this is a Finley special and over the top for a cross press and trouble for Owen Hart here. Yes, no problem. So it's 
12 minutes. The winners, 12 minutes, 18 Northern seconds. Northern Ireland, Finley and Moran. By two falls to one. And they go through to the final. And we will see in the second semi-final between the West Indies and England very shortly now. Well, now let's go back to wrestling and the Four Nation knockout tag. Uh, who will meet Northern Ireland in the final? Well, it will be between England's Marty Jones and Vic Faulkner and the West Indian pair jumping Jim Moser and Lenny Hurst. We join this one from the start. Six away for the first session. Curious to see Vic Faulkner getting into the ring on a tag match without his brother Bert Royal, isn't it? For years they were the, they were so superlative for tag wrestling. But uh, I think you'll find Marty Jones a useful partner. Marty Jones in the ring now against Lenny Hurst from to, to, uh, Antigua Bay, 14 stone seven Hurst. And of course, Marty Jones, the former world mid heavyweight title holder, lost it to Fit Finley this last year. Tag for Moser, the first appearance of Jim Moser from Kingston, Jamaica, against Marty Jones. I think one of the fastest men that I've ever seen in the ring in his time. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, he's still got it there, hasn't he? Enough to make Marty Jones tag Vic Faulkner. <laughs> Vic Faulkner up to his old tricks that he used to do so beautifully with his brother Bert. Hold him, Jim. Hasn't lost any of his speed, Vic. Agility or humor. I'm delighted to say he just loves his wrestling. He's giving away a lot of weight here against uh, Moser. Faulkner's only in about 11 and a half stone. And uh, Moser at 14 4. Ken Joyce tearing about, referee tearing about here to check the shoulder blades. Tag and comes Lenny Hurst versus Vic Faulkner. Side head chance for now. Here's quick throw, but Faulkner doesn't worry about this. Takes the leg grab on the way. And a tag. Leaves him to Marty Jones. Handed wrist lever by Jones, keeping well out of the way of the back elbow. Should it come? Oh, nicely, nicely switched by Lenny Hurst. Very neat move. Lenny Hurst, who's only a part time wrestler these days because he's too busy with his pub in Camberwell, the Enterprise. But we do see him occasionally, I'm delighted to see, and that's the sort of speed escape we see from him. <laughs> and Faulkner gets in and out, still holding the tag rope. Don't think I've ever seen that before. Full Nelson now, Hurst on Jones, reversed. And a tag. Moser 
Jones. Moser for West Indies, Jones for England in the second semi-final. Which one of these teams will join the Irishman? <laughs> Finley and Rocky Moran in the final later this afternoon. Takes the man with him, double leg Nelson, folding press chance for Jones now. And he's got the arms. But not enough. So tag in Faulkner back against Moser. It's all right, I'll shake hands with you. It's all right. <laughs> nice uh, roller over the back there from that uh, side headlock. Uh, but that's a typical Vic head scissors, really lay it on a bit thick. And 15 minutes to go, just a little less in this tag. Semi final. But he's right over in this corner. He could tag if he needed to. Moser, but he doesn't. Big grin on his face. Now as he realizes he could have the better of fault now for a change. But not for long. And a tag. Hurst. Faulkner. Oh, he should have gone with that whip. He went with that one. From the half Nelson. <laughs> Faulkner always argued playfully with the referee. Feet interlocked, but not for too long. <laughs> and he goes and congratulates his opponent's partner instead of him. And he congratulates the referee and his own partner, everybody. But he gets out. <laughs> In comes Marty Jones against Lenny Hurst. You never know what Rick Ford is going to get up to. Holds onto the hammer lock now, Ma Marty Johns. Yes, Jones needs it. Starting the back weakness now. They're making signs behind the referee's back, just checking. I don't know what. He's just signing something to Jones. Takes his man back over the top, holding press. Leading right back. Oh, went over too far. Couldn't hold it. Tag for Moser. Jim Moser. Kingston, Jamaica. This is John and Faulkner coming into the ring and running with him. And all four of them went, oh, this is getting out of hand a bit here. And <laughs> Faulkner waits in the middle, wondering who's going to hit him first. It's his own partner who got in the way of it. <laughs> well, the crowd love it. There they are. They thought that was terrific. It ends up, the whole sequence, with Hurst and Faulkner. Oh, beautiful. I'm taking him, and he's got the arms. Has he? Not quite. That's a count of two only. <laughs> so everybody really enjoying this now as Hurst gets out of the ring laughing. Moser with a big grin on his face gets in against Faulkner. <laughs> and this time, but Faulkner waiting for him, spun out before he got the advantage. And he takes him down beautifully with the leg, Nelson, but can he hold those shoulder blades down? He can. And it's Faulkner gets the first one over Jim Moser. And that took him just under nine minutes. And the first fall of the contest, 
goes to Jones and Faulkner. And all sporting it is, all handshaking going on. Great to see. And it's Jones and Faulkner, uh, one up now, and they only want one more score to get to the final against Finley and Murray. Second to eight for the second session. But can they get it? Faulkner has to continue, of course, against Moser. The same two must always continue after a fall or a score of any kind. Unless, of course, it's a knockout. Hold him, Jim. Why not? No! Keep it up. Hold him, Jim. 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 At least he took the attention of his opponent, and that's what he wanted to do. In comes Marty Jones against Moser. Hold him, Jim. Hold him. I've got him. <laughs> A little bit of advice from Lenny Hurst on the tag rope outside for the West Indies. Come on, Marty. I think Moser has got him, too, at the moment. And this double finger in a lot. So if you see Jones go down on the canvas, back back to canvas from one of those. Down again. Get him down. Down. Don't think he wants to stay there much though. <laughs> Waiting for him over the top of the side folder. And Moser nearly in trouble again this time from Jones. Side headlock and a tag. In comes Hurst. And he doesn't take over the hold, he just releases. Oh, oh, he came up before he grabbed the leg. Referee just cleared out of the way then. So, oh, that's the this time it's Hurst knee comes up. Beautifully timed. It's Hurst going around Jones now with a crutch hold and slam, followed on cross press. And <laughs> Hurst gets a ride to the far ropes. And the referee says, Hurst, get off my back. Now Hurst continuing with Faulkner, who's tagged. In the meantime, there's a Faulkner drop kicks coming thick and fast. And a chest high. <laughs> and he, he's had enough of that. Hurst decides to tag, and Moser comes in against Faulkner. This is the one that caused the fall, remember? Faulkner got the fall on Moser. Oh! Not a good landing from that miss. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. But Moser waiting for him, gets a double arm, and it takes him beautifully by surprise there, and Moser might have the equalizer he has. Over Faulkner in just under 13 minutes of this tag contest. And in 12 minutes, 55 seconds, the equalizing fall to the West Indies, Lady Hurst and jumping Jim Moser. So for the West Indies, Moser has got them back in the game here, one fall each, and there's just under seven minutes to go. Sent away for the third and final session. Faulkner must continue with Moser. All the falls have been scored here by these two against each other. Both of them, in fact. Faulkner got the first one over Moser in nine minutes. And you just saw the equalizer by Moser over Faulkner in 13. Now the full Nelson to Moser. <laughs> well, just bouncing off the ropes here, trying to distract the attention of Faulkner, but 
He's fought her a bit earlier on that drop kick too. Oh, cross press. <laughs> it's the right arm of Faulkner proving to the referee that his shoulder blade is off the canvas that is doing most of the worrying to Hurst. <laughs> Hurst decided to release that. He's had enough. One, two, three, four, five. Twisted him as he threw him there for him. There's the mountain climb. Both the Royal Brothers were great at that. In comes Jones. Three quarters of the bar. Jones versus Hurst. Five minutes to go. One fall each. West Indies or England to get in the final against Northern Ireland. That is the question. The next call will tell us. Hurst tags Moser. Uh oh, the first headbutt to forehead of the, the contest. In fact, of the afternoon. Flying tackle, Jones. It's Moser down with loose cross press. Much too loose. And a tag, Hurst versus Jones. Body check, which Jones lost, unusual. Got that one okay, cross press. Oh, nicely, beautiful go for the double arm, and Jones in trouble here by Hurst. Very near thing, a counter to it. It's Jones going for the same double arm from underneath there. Can he hold those shoulder blades down? He's got it. So it's Jones over Hurst for the final fall necessary for England to get into the final, and it just took him 16 minutes, 10 yeah, seconds to do it. 16 minutes, 10 seconds. The winners, England, Marty Jones and Vic Faulkner. Session. As we go for another 20 minute tag contest, which is the final for this trophy, this tag trophy. England, Marty Jones and Vic Faulkner versus Northern Ireland, Fit Finlay and Rocky Moran. And the start, the old two adversaries, Jones and Finlay. Finlay's the man, remember, who took Jones' mid world mid heavyweight title off him. And Jones has been longing for a chance to get this back. But of course, tag wrestling doesn't affect that title in any way. This is purely for a separate trophy altogether. Finley, the Irishman, hasn't got his wife and mentor and manager, Princess Paula, with him here this afternoon. That's only for title bouts that he brings her in the ring. Peter Zakash, the referee for this final. And he might have a quite a bit of trouble with these two, I should think. Finley won't be happy about that. <laughs> Lifting him from the deck. Shaping at the punch, but tags Moran. And then comes Moran to take over the hole, side headlock. But it doesn't last. Half Nelson's throw, Jones, and in comes Faulkner versus Moran. Crowd shouting easy, but I don't think it's going to be that easy. 
Not for either team. Ryan, a very strong fella indeed. He's shown us in the past in his solo wrestling bouts on television that there's no pushover. Really excellent wrestler. Maybe not quite in Finley as partner's class, but still excellent. <laughs> just partner saw that coming, go out of the way just right. So it's Finley that gets the body shot. It's a great move for Fort Meadows, uh, flying head scissors. In comes Jones now versus Finley. Fort having wicked him up for him. And uh, Jones will drop, beautiful knee drop following up the cross press, but only hold a two. It's Moran now in versus Jones. Rocky Moran with a shot of black. Oh, what a beautiful cross. Right cross forearm there. And Jones following it up with a crunch hole slam and a cross press. Still doesn't get it more than a count of one. In comes Faulkner versus Moran. And Faulkner can't risk a quick forearm and Finley outside on his tag rope quite legally there. In fact, he's Faulkner was the one that was illegal at that time. Moran this time with a hair pull. And a public warning. Again, First public warning Rocky to Rocky Moran. Stopped it nicely there on the night and a strike cross by Faulkner. Doesn't even let his man go down on both knees if he wanted to. Another foot ready for Finley, but it's, it's the wrong man that gets it again. Five minutes. And Faulkner decides to tag. Jones now, and Finley's tag too, so Jones, Finley, the two old adversaries again. That's a lovely move of Finley's. They're perfectly legal. Really harsh, that knee comes up. Oh! oh. Taking his man off the deck. And on another. It wasn't a headbutt that landed, but it landed on his head, whatever it was. French fist or not. Oh, straight to the stomach. Clap of the hand, says Finley. I think it was that time. But this time. First public warning to Dave Finley. Not allowed, and a public warning each. Now the Irish corner. And that's where Jones, oh yes, brings the knee down on the forehead after he landed. He might have weakened him to a Boston now. No. And a tag. In comes Moran, and Faulkner to his tag. So Faulkner for England against Moran for Northern Ireland and still no score, but one public warning each, the Irish corner, remember. They haven't got too many more to play with. Oh yes, and he got that posting and the Finley foot came up on the cushion, in front of the cushion. And the question is what the referee is going to do about that. A real harsh posting there with Finley's foot resting against the cushion. Shoves his man into the corner with the ran outside helping too much, so another public warning. Second and final public warning to Rocky Moran. So pub second public warning, which is the final one to Moran. Next time he's out, and it's up to Finley to continue by himself for Northern Ireland if he gets another public warning. Oh, 
tremendous qualification, of course. So it's Finlay now versus Faulkner. I think Finlay right to come in, get Moran out of the way for the moment. The two public warnings against him. Oh, beauty by Faulkner. Beauty really took him. Perfectness. That swayed him a bit. And in comes Jones to follow up with good work. And a tag quickly. In comes Moran against Jones. Post in. A nice switch, but it didn't quite work. And Jones still got the upper hand here. Another post in by Jones. Foot came up nicely from the round, but the follow down didn't work so well. And that's typical Jones, a terrific move of his there. Got his feet down in time that time, and it's a power lock. The power lock is on by Jones. It must be a submission. Yes. That power lock of Jones is lethal. And he's got the first submission over Moran in just eight minutes, 25 seconds of this tag contest. In eight minutes, 25 seconds, the first submission to England, Malty Jones and Vic Hawkins. Finley really having a word with Jones there in the middle about operating that power lock. But it's a perfectly legal move. Indian death it may be, but it's a perfectly legal move. Seconds away for the second session. So with just about nine minutes gone, the England now leading 1-0 by that Jones submission over Rocky Moran. And Finley trying to continue after the score, which is not legal. Moran must do so. The referee insists. Jones versus Moran. <laughs> Jones just waiting for that leg grab, and he's trying the other power lock, but Finley gets in quickly to prevent it. He's trying another power lock there. And he wants one more score, England. So he tags Faulkner. And spotted, and Finley's gets another public warning. Second and final public warning to Dave Finley. So both the Irishmen, two public warnings now, and Faulkner doing a good job on both of them in the middle there at the moment. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. And in comes Jones before Faulkner gets out and drop kicks them both. And that's another typical move of Jones, that really great throw. Forward's down, he's going for the power lock again, and Faulkner trying to keep Finley away, and it's a power lock, and that's it, it gives, it gives, it gives. That's it. It's a 2-0 win for England by two power locks by Jones, both over Rocky Moran, and it took them just 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Two submissions to nil. To present the trophy to the winners is former welterweight champion of Europe, Ken Joyce. The winners, England, Marty Jones, and A good tag final there, I think you'll agree. The Irishmen were two public warnings against them, couldn't get a score. And it's Jones and Faulkner got both the submissions Finley. over Moran. Finley. And with I that... I may not get you today, but I'll get you tomorrow. I'll be up to you. He's still talking about his mid-heavyweight championship of the world. He's still after that back off Finley. And this argument will continue all day, I should mention. We have to say goodbye from all of us here at Guildford with that 2-0 win for England. Have a good time. Till next time.